So let's step back in time and remember our first Formula One great, who was Italy's greatest ever, Alberto Ascari. Plump, dapper and charming, he dominated Grand Prix racing in the early 50s, driving for Ferrari and Lancia. Amazingly, Ascari is still Italy's only true great champion of the Formula One era. In his pale blue helmet and pale blue sleeveless shirt, he was a supreme stylist. Always more comfortable at the front of a race, he preferred to dominate, and once he was in the lead, his calm, unruffled style made it all look so easy. He was the son of a great driver of the 1920s, Antonio Ascari. Alberto idolised his father and was only seven years old when Antonio was killed in the 1925 French Grand Prix. It left the young Alberto with a burning ambition to emulate him, and by the time he was in his teens, he was racing motorcycles and honing his skill and racecraft. Helped by his mentor Gigi Villaresi, Ascari joined Ferrari. In 1950, the first year of the World Championship, Farina took the title for Alfa Romeo, but in 1951, Ascari beat Fangio's Alfa to win at the Nürburgring and Monza. In 1952, he and Ferrari began an extraordinary two-year domination of Formula One. For over a year, no one except Ascari won a world championship round. And to Alberto Ascari, a further Grand Prix victory. A victory which was to confirm him champion of the world a second time. But at the end of 1953, he fell out with Enzo Ferrari and joined Lancia, who were developing a revolutionary new Formula One car. In career terms, it was a bad move, because the new car wasn't race-ready until late in the season. But for 1955, for Lancia looked a winner, and Ascari was leading at Monaco when drama! A tremendous excitement! Ascari has overshot the chicane. The car has somersaulted straight into the harbour. Frogman standing by, dive in to rescue Ascari. But his blue helmet pops up over to the left of the point where the car went in. And he starts to swim towards one of the yachts. He is transferred to a stretcher and taken to hospital with little worse than a cut nose and a severe shaking. Ascari's miraculous escape was tragically short-lived. Four days later, testing a sports Ferrari at Monza, he crashed and was killed. Alberto Ascari was mourned by the whole of Italy. More than any other driver, he had created the legend of Ferrari, which endures to this day.